Okay, everyone, this is Acid Roots, and we are <clears throat> getting ready for Link's Awakening. So, I enjoy this game. I've actually played through the first two dungeons of the game about 15 years ago. And coincidentally, I think this was probably the first Zelda game I ever owned. Now, <clears throat> really, the premises of the, the premise of this is you're locked on an island and you're just in one weird situation. So, the Game Boy needed games like this, and I feel like in a lot of ways. It is, <clears throat> it's a game that ha allows you to play it for more than an hour or two hours, but it also is under the control scheme of just two buttons. So A and B are the only things you're going to really need. You will occasionally use select. Then of course start is how you get to your items, but <clears throat> this is about a cross between, this is kind of, if Zelda is, the first Zelda is the most primitive and A Link to the Past is advanced, this is a step in between those. So just understand that it's not as big of a world as A Link to the Past, but it's also not as small as the original Zelda. So this is Terran and Marin. Um, Marin is the female and you're going to be seeing more of her as time goes along. The same thing with Terran. He's kind of a little bit of a free spirit, but he's also clumsy. So just understand that these are basically your only friends in the game. <laughs> and I think there are the occasional other ones, but... This is actually one of three Game Boy Zeldas, which I am appreciative for, but I do find myself missing this a lot. And, well, you know, th there's a town in this one, so that's kind of, you know, you get a sense, not a city, but it's a town. So... I'm just going to show off a few of the places that you can explore and just know that there's a lot of stuff. So I actually owned the Link's Awakening Deluxe because when I started becoming conscious of my own life, it was about when I was eight or nine. And so what I was doing was I got this game somewhere in 1999 or the year 2000. And I played, I could get about to the first dungeon, and I just I just didn't get the concept of Zelda at that point. Because, you know, when I was in grade school, the, the Super Nintendo was still around, and we were just adjusting to 3D. So it was just really strange. You know, you look at nowadays, people can do 3D games and take to it like a fish to water, but... Um, everything was relatively new so you know if you didn't like Zelda this meant that you wanted to do other things because the PlayStation was only you know a handful of years old 1998 so you didn't have a lot of options but you know I do enjoy this game and I think I could probably beat it by now so there's plenty of dialogue don't think that there's not you're going to be talking to people but you just don't really get to know what's on their mind that much you're always going to be wanting maybe just another extra couple lines of dialogue and so this is definitely you know the forefront of game boy i'd say besides pokemon and final fantasy this is one to pick up So, but I did have friends that like Zelda. I said before that I didn't, but 
there was I had at least one other person I knew that liked Zelda and he actually got further than I did when we played this. So well I mean, you know, it was just a complete mystery. Notice we got the sword. That's right. So but it, it was just a complete mystery just because, um, you know, when you're seven, eight, the only games you really knew were just hop and bop and get to the end of the stage type things. So this, I mean, this was a step up and it was definitely worthwhile. But, you know, what stole a lot of this game's thunder was Pokemon because you may not have known, but Pokemon came out. Fall to fall 1998, and this Link's Awakening Deluxe came out around that time. So there was there was some stuff going on as far as Nintendo was concerned. There, you know, Zelda: Ocarina of Time was a super hyped game. I'm talking as if you don't know, but um, yeah, I remember Zelda being really hyped up. There was going to be a gold cartridge, and it was just supposed to be the best game ever. Between that and Metal Gear Solid, people just didn't know what to do. But a lot of people will say, I'd never played the N64 except Zelda. And, you know, maybe one day I'll prove those people wrong, but a secret game that came out in 98 was Link's Awakening. So we are about done with this video, but stay tuned, I've definitely got more. I'll just record part two and we'll see, we'll go from there. But, you know, also in 1998, I mean, the Game Boy was at a late stage in his career. It had been around for nine years. It came out in June of 1989, so right around the month I was born. And... <clears throat> You know, just the fact that there were still good games coming out nine years later was pretty good, but we'll talk more about the effects of those these games in part two. But, you know, just understand that this is a mega hot one. 